Good times and good prices before 2008 meant boom times for the growing New Zealand wine industry. Our wines became world famous and they won awards. Investment and production increased, not just here, but around the world. Suddenly, there was too much wine everywhere. And then came the bust. The wine industry has had enormous changes. We've seen a lot in the 70 odd years that the, we've been in the industry. There's a glut and it has had an impact enormously on wineries. First on the price, I mean you can tell that now if you go into a supermarket and see what products are, are selling at, uh, they're at ridiculously low prices. Tony Soldiers of Soldier Estate says Sauvignon Blanc is the lifeblood of the New Zealand wine industry and the key to turning the situation around. The backbone of the New Zealand wine industry and the one that really got us going into exports was Sauvignon Blanc. That's got to the point where it's become a commodity and it needs some clear direction, otherwise it's going to be always a commodity and not going to be able to retain good prices that we need to get. Tony Soldier says there is no control over the bulk export of wine which risks damaging the reputation of New Zealand wine. And he says it's something the industry needs to sort out. We have no control on the bulk exports. It's the growing part of New Zealand wine exports, is in my understanding. But it's at a margin that's uh, really damaging to the whole industry. We've got double standards and the Wine Institute needs to tighten that up. The industry is facing tough times, but Tony Solgen says the situation is easing slightly. The industry is in a, in a tough position. The wine industry is like this, it's a roller coaster. So it'll come out the other end, but there's going to be unfortunately casualties on the way, and we've already seen that happen. If we can eliminate bulk exports, we will get our prices up and get a bit of profitability into wineries. We're better to make less, but at a profit, than make a lot, but at a loss. Tony Soldier says the wine industry's glut may slowly be coming to an end. However, it's unsure when wineries' sales will be back to their preferred prices. Scott Milligan, Country 99 TV News.